Oh, jeez! Oh, it's got so much power! Hey everybody, Brooks from Dogtimes here. Welcome back to the channel. I flew out to LA for a special occasion. Rimac had contacted me. They are out here for car week. They have the Rimac Nevera. I think a couple of them in town. And I am set up to do what I think is the first performance testing down in actual drag strips. And since I'm a Tesla guy, I figured I would rent a Model S Plaid here. Check it out on Turo. So I got this on Turo. <laughs> And it is the full all-out plaid, 1,020 horsepower, the blue arachnid wheels. Check out the back here, you can see Tesla plaid. Now, why would I rent a plaid coming out to LA? Well, I figured if I'm gonna be out testing the Nevera, maybe doing some quarter mile drag passes down at Famoso Drag Strip, why not roll up in the plaid and maybe, just maybe, we can get some races done. Of course, now I know what you're thinking, taking a Toro and renting it and racing it might not be the best idea, but I did clear with the Toro host ahead of time. He was, he actually had watched the channel before and he was open to getting this drag race set up. Just arrived out here at Famoso Drag Strip. Ramak has had me out to be the first one to take the Nevera down the quarter mile. I'm not gonna go over there now, but they are testing and preparing the car. I'm here with Miro. He is the test and development driver yeah. for Remax. Remats. 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 And I'm here today with the one and only Remats Nevera, 1,914 horsepower, yeah. four electric motors. Yes. How much torque? Oh, a lot, 3,600 newton meters. Newton torque. meters. Yeah. Top speed? Uh, 258 miles an hour. 258 miles an hour. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about the car. It's completely carbon fiber? Yes. Com so, carbon fiber monocoque? Yeah, so this basically is the biggest single uh, piece carbon fiber in the automotive industry. So the monocoque itself is the biggest piece. Okay. It's really, really stiff. So 70,000 Newton meters per degree. Uh, that's like three times the stiffness of uh, LMP car. Right. Which is quite stiff. Quite big battery, the biggest so far. So it's 120 uh, kilowatt hours. Okay. And it's in the backbone of the car underneath the feet of the driver and co-driver and behind the seats. Right. Uh, so that gives us quite a lot of range, but also, you know, uh, quite a lot of um, capacity also for this. Yeah. We don't overheat or degrade that much. Exactly. So you've driven this car a lot. Yeah. Oh, any advice for me being the first one to take it down the drag strip? I've done a lot of drag racing. This yeah. could be the quickest car I've ever driven. We will see. Yeah. So what do you think? Just any hold hints? on tight. Just hold on tight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We have quite, quite advanced traction control. Okay. It actually learns the track. Okay. So each time you do a drag strip, it, it increases and, and, and adjusts the, the amount of torque that you can gotcha. de deliver to the tires. Now, if we're doing launch mode and is traction going to be on or are we all ESC yeah, yeah, yeah. off? Yeah. We are going to have some traction yeah. control. All right, that's good to sound. So let's take a look around the car. Wow, this thing, I think I've had dreams about this car. I mean, it's really the ultimate car for drag times. I mean, it's got four electric motors, one at each wheel. Yeah. So the computers can control torque vectoring per wheel yeah. with roughly almost 500 horsepower per wheel. We can, we can control the, the torque on the wheel 100 times a second. So yeah, we got obviously carbon ceramic brakes. And then on the back, this is an active air wing. I saw this going up and down earlier. So a lot of downforce for cornering and so forth. Yes, yeah. so we have active aerodynamics. So we have active uh, rear wing and rear diffuser. This, okay. is, this also moves. Yeah, I did see that drop down earlier. Yeah. And it was driving around, gotcha. Um, we also have uh, the bonnet flap and we have the uh, flap and the diffuser okay. on the front. So what we do is actually we uh, control the airflow through the car um, for optimum cooling, but also for optimum downforce. So depending on what you need. And also we need, we have the uh, air brake on the rear, okay. which stabilizes the car and gives you a little bit more downforce on the rear gotcha. for the brake stability. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Well, let's hop inside and check out some of the features. Yeah, sure. And you can actually give me a little tutorial before I take it further down the drag strip for the first time. Yeah. Let's hop in here. It's actually pretty straightforward. Okay. Um, so basically you have your powertrain knob on the left okay which you use to switch on the car it's just a, a, a normal push on the button okay um and then you just use the the rotating knob and then you have your uh, modes okay. and you have your torques so you can adjust the torques on the front and on the rear okay whatever you want so for example if you just 
turn on the button, you can adjust if you want. You, have, you can have 100% on the front or 100% on the rear. Okay, so this is the front to rear power ratio. Yes. Okay. Um, this is your uh, mode button, so you can choose the modes on this. Okay. So you have your range, cruise, sport, uh, track, and drift mode. Okay. And you also have two modes that you can pre-select and, and save your own. And this is your stability knob on the rear, so you can turn on the, stop, the torque vectoring okay. or traction control, whatever you want. Gotcha. Um, we have also really, really um, nice and, and uh, advanced uh, infotainment system. Okay. So this is all made by us. So the whole um, IVI, the design, the the software, everything was, sure. was made by by Rimac. So we have um, different features on the on the infotainment. We will also have a, a driving coach that's okay. going to be released a little bit a little bit later. That's going to give you. Uh, basically, the the option to film the, your your drives, and uh, it's going to little, uh, teach you how to drive on the track. So it can suggest the optimum lines, uh, your braking points, your acceleration points, stuff like wow. that. Wow! So like a video game, but for real. Yeah. Yeah, I've never heard of any other car that does that. Yeah, this is the first That's one. That's going to be actually. pretty pretty incredible. Yeah. So quick mode on this. So if you wanted to, can you do a, like a rear wheel drive burnout to eat up the tires or anything like that? You can do a burnout, so we have a drift mode if you want to do that, okay. actually. So if you put it in drift mode, you have 100% torque on the rear okay. and zero on the front. So, so that means it's not going to, it's completely rear wheel drive at that point? Yeah. Okay. And if you just stomp it, what happens? It just lights up the tires? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Then you need to really know what you're doing. Then you need to. So I'll let you do that. Yeah. <laughs> so drift mode is, is actually developed for uh, drivers to, to make it easier on them to, to, to drift the car. Okay. So what it does is basically controlling with the rear and front powertrain the angle of the car, the, so the slip angle of the car. Okay. So you don't spin that easy, basically. Okay. You can drive the car maximum angle quite a lot. So if you throw it all on the front and you hit it, it will do a front wheel burnout. If you switch off the traction control, yes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. We, in theory, we can do. Have you tried we that? We can do left burnout or right burnout <laughs> of left tires or right tires, whatever. So you, you can like. just spin one. You can just spin one in theory, yes. In theory, but right here it yeah. would just be the front. Yeah, we, we did a pre-selected things just for you know to to, to, to keep it to, to keep it a bit a bit more sane. So, <laughs> yeah. so uh, I think what you should do is spin that tire and that tire in opposite directions. Yeah, what yeah. would happen? That's an, we, we that's had an different donut? ideas. Yeah. yeah, you can you can do an instant donut. Yeah, you can do left side and reverse, right side and front. <laughs> in theory, <laughs> on <laughs> testing, not for the road and not for. So, have you yeah. guys tried that? Uh, uh, no. No. Yeah, that no. means yes, but he's not gonna tell me. <laughs> I understand. I get that. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you want to go into powertrain, you just put your foot on the brake, press the button on the left. Okay. Yeah. And that engages the powertrain. And once the system uh, is ready, oh, you it go. can yeah, you can go reverse, neutral, and drive. Okay, so that's how you switch between the different modes. Now we're in drive, yeah. and, and you have then... the 360 view. Oh yeah, look at that. Front. So we got 360 view. Yeah. So you can change the cameras. You can have the on the doors uh -huh. on the front. Obviously, the doors are open. So if we yeah. drop those down, the camera will probably look a little different now, right? Yeah. Okay. And then down here we got the windows. We got that's a lift system. Yeah, that's an HLS system. Okay. Set up control. Yeah. And then the lights and the door locks and the other window, yeah. gotcha. This is the, the fog light. And okay. This is for adjusting the seats and stuff. So you don't adjust the seat manually, you have it all on the screen. So basically you change the seat position, seat height, bit backrest position. Okay. Also for the steering wheel and also for the mirrors. So if you want to adjust the mirrors, you just go here and adjust it. Okay, gotcha. And then you have your pre selected modes that so pre selected um uh, profiles that you can save the okay the the profile and gotcha so if i want to move my seat forward you would press here yep. and then there we go now i'm moving forward gotcha yep. and then seat height backrest position okay yep. gotcha so tell me about since it's been my first time down the drag strip is there a launch control we just put it in drive and is there a track mode what i would suggest is go into track mode just because we have the pre-selected for the cooling and stuff. Okay. So launch control is ready for, for any kind of mode. So okay. if you're driving, for example, if you're driving through town and range mode, say it's something like that, uh -huh. and you want to do a, a launch in, in that moment, you just step stop, step on the brake, okay. step on the throttle, yeah. you remove your foot from the brake and uh -huh. the car just stops. And then there we go. Yeah. What it does is basically in launch mode, when it, activate, it activates, it's preloading the drivetrain a bit. Okay. 
and the cooling system also switches in another mode. Okay, gotcha. But once you're done, so when, once you lift off the throttle, it goes back into any mode that you were in. Okay. And it shows you on the screen the data that you did. So gotcha. Also... So basically, we're in drive now. You would switch this, cruise, sport, yeah. track. Yeah. And then from there, I'm going to use my left foot on the brake, yeah. apply the throttle. I'm not going to do it right now. And you then... can do it now. Just don't release the brake. Don't release the brake. Yeah, well, actually, okay, there we go. Yeah. And then uh, you got a, 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 quite a few parameters up here and so forth. But yeah, I'll do a test launch later and then we'll get it going. But let's put it back into range mode. Yeah. And then if I let off, I can put it back down into park. There we go. Okay, now we're safe. So now we're in range mode. This front screen here also changes when you switch this into cruise. Okay, and then uh, I can actually see navigation up there as well. Yep. And then sport mode. It says the suspension, throttle response, steering, and then into track. Goes into full out, suspension hard, spoiler auto, steering assist low, and then uh, some other settings there. You also have the widgets on the, on the, the right stop, okay. the side of the screen, so you basically press, press here. Okay. And what you can see there is your tire pressure and temperature. Okay. Uh, you will be you. You have the torques, uh -huh. the live torques. So as you go along, it shows the the exact torque on each wheel. Okay. So you can see the torque vectoring working also on this. Okay. Um, and you can see that it's shooting out uh, negative torques on one wheel, positive okay. on the other when you're driving through the through corner. Ah. You see your different temperatures, uh, also the battery temperature and uh -huh. stuff like that. So. And then also right here, maximum consumption of yeah. watt hours. Per kilometer. Per kilometer, yeah, wow. All right, so we're gonna do a little drift mode demonstration. We're gonna put 100% rear. I'm gonna let uh, Miro take care of that because he is the test driver and I only go in straight lines. Curves are not my thing. I know my limits. All right, so we have it in complete rear wheel drive. Yeah. No front wheel drive. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna give it some drift mode. Let's see it. Okay. Yep. Ready? Yep. Oh, shit. Whoa. <laughs> oh. That's a good way to heat up the tires. Oh, Woof. Now, if you just stab it in a straight line, what does it do? Well, it just... Yeah, if you, if you it? stab it in a you straight have, yes, line... Yes, it's completely off right now? Yeah, it's completely okay, off. Okay, so what happens now? So if it's, oh, perfect. It just starts yeah, yeah. running out the tires. All right. Okay. That is awesome. I wonder if we should... <laughs> wow, that's a way to burn up some tires. There we go. Now we got the tires hot. <laughs> Tell me about the lights right here on the side. So this is the signature thing on the car from Croatia. It's a cravat. So it's a necktie basically, which okay. was invented by Croatians. And these lights are, are changing color as you change the modes on the car. And you can also customize them. You can have it like, you know, American flag or okay. Italian flag or whatever you like. All right, there you go. So what does it mean right now, blinking orange? Drift mode? Now, now it's in drift mode. Yeah. Okay, so if you put it in track mode, it changes a different if color. If we change the mode, it will change the, the color. Okay. Yeah. So if you change it to track mode, for example, it's gonna be coming into red. Okay. And then if you change it, for example, into range mode or cruise mode, oh, that's a nice cool it's going to change the, the color. Okay, yeah. gotcha. All right, so we're going to test out a burnout mode, unofficial from Remats, but basically yeah. we go into track over here, 100, 100. No, and, drift mode. Oh, drift mode, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's one One pass, okay, yeah. so pass track, now we're in drift. So we had 100% on the rear, and now if I just stab it, I should be able to get a burnout to heat up the tires. Yes. For the drag strip runs. Yeah. Okay, let's test that out. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Huge cloud of smoke in the back. Yeah. Wow. Now if I apply the brakes, it won't do a standing burnout, correct? No. no. Okay. Gotcha. So no no worries about that. I think that's actually plenty to get the tires nice and hot. So I'm gonna put it back into track mode now. Okay. Now if I do that now, now we're at hundred percent front, hundred percent rear. Alright, so here's a little test before I actually take it down the drag strip. Here we go. So press the brake down. Now we're launched. Here we go. Oh, oh shit! 
<laughs> wow, that's insane. It's got so much power. I think I might have to sell everything in the garage now and pick up one of these. It really is the best overall car. I think the guys can give you some kind of a discount. Yeah? Yeah, we can work something out. You heard that. Yeah. He said a discount. I don't know how much a <laughs> discount's gonna be. It starts at 2.4 million, is that correct? Yeah, US dollars. Steering and everything is just... It feels light, even though it's a pretty heavy car. Yeah, it has the torque factoring system, which basically um, sh sh shreds down like 500 kilos of weight from the car. Okay. Because it, it gives you, uh, it helps you turn the car, it, it maximizes the grip of each tire. Okay. So it controls the torque on each, each uh, tire as you turn the steering wheel. Right. So it's monitoring the steering wheel, the lateral forces, the longitudinal forces, where your throttle is at. Okay. And stuff like that, and it calculates the best um, torque that you, the, okay. the, the optimum torque that you need on, on each wheel. Gotcha. All right, well, Miro, thank you so much for the overview. I think it's time to get started and give it a couple first real-world tests. I'm going to hook up the Draggy, the V-Box. We'll obviously have the time slips from the track, yep. and let's see what we get. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. You ready to do this? Yeah, man. Come on, we're breaking some records or what? Oh, yeah. All right, so here we are, first quarter-mile pass in the Remat Nevera. See if I can remember, we are in drive already, we're in track. I should just move forward right there. Okay, we're moving. And here we go. Oh, jeez! This fucking crazy! Holy crap! Wow, that is unlike anything I've ever driven. All right, so there you go. Here's a slip, 874 at 165.5 miles an hour. Let's do it. This car is <sighs> takes your takes your breath away. <laughs> I cannot believe how hard this thing starts pulling on the top end. It is quite scary. I mean, even from a roll, it just starts moving. Yeah, that was faster. What was, that? What was my reaction time? N not very good. Who cares about uh, reaction? You're breaking records today. Oh, I gotta like go against him next. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's that's why he that's cares. Fair. That's fair. Point three six zero. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me check real quick. Good. Right, we'll almost do it one more time. Right. 
I like your way of communication. I know. I mean, it could have been better. Oh, you did it. You broke the record. <laughs> yes. That's amazing. That launch was nasty. Sake. One four four sixty footer. That was sick. Wow. Well done. We got it. <laughs> and there you go. We got it. Eight point five two at one hundred and sixty seven. 0.5 miles an hour. 60 foot time was a 1.44. That is the world record for the world's quickest production car. All right, Mira. Wow, that it was. Just, I mean, you saw my reactions. The car is just insane. I mean, it's just. Thanks to Rematch for having me out for doing the test. It was just incredible. Well into the eights, quickest production car in the world by far. There's absolutely no competition. I think the closest competition is actually. You know, I came out to L.A. and I rented a Tesla Plaid because I have a Tesla at home, and uh, it's right over there. And uh, so I rented this on Turo. And I asked the owner, just in case, you know, you guys were open to it, if uh, we wanted to race the two quickest production cars in the world heads up against each other. So well, what does Rematch say about that? You think we can do it? I'm game. We're good? Yeah. All right, we are on. So next video, make sure you're subscribed. We're running Tesla Plaid versus the Rematch Nevera. It's That's going to be awesome. That's going to be, awesome. gonna be, be just be... incredible. Yeah. All right, so as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. helps the video and the channel. And uh, wow, make sure you subscribe because this is going to be just epic. Thanks for watching. Cheers.